As state controller, my job is to watch the money. I support Prop 30 because it means no more school cuts with strict accountability. Sacramento politicians can't touch the money. And Prop 30 requires annual audits posted online for everyone to see. Join California teachers to restore school programs and reduce class sizes. To restore hope in the California dream. For our students, for California's future, yes on 30. As teachers, the last four years have been devastating for our schools and colleges. 30,000 teachers laid off, music and art programs gone, double-digit tuition hikes. Prop 30 stops the cuts. 30 will restore funding for our schools and colleges and prevent billions in new cuts. With strict accountability, money must go to the classroom and can't be touched by Sacramento politicians. For our students, for our future, yes on 30. The California dream was built on our schools and colleges, but the last four years have been devastating. From overcrowded classrooms to college tuition hikes, it's time to stop the cuts and invest in our future. Proposition 30 will restore funding for schools and prevent billions in cuts this year. And Proposition 30 has tough accountability to make sure money goes to the classroom where it belongs. Join me for our students and California's future. Yes on 30. The California dream was built on schools and colleges, giving everyone a chance at a job and a future. Proposition 30 stops the cuts to our schools. 30 asks the highest income earners to pay a little bit more to keep our economy strong. All funds were used to stop school cuts and close California's budget deficit. Join me for our students and our future. Yes on 30. As teachers, the last four years have been devastating for our schools and colleges. 30,000 teachers laid off. Music and art programs, gone. Double-digit tuition hikes. Prop 30 stops the cuts. 30 will restore funding for our schools and colleges and prevent billions in new cuts. With strict accountability, money must go to the classrooms and can't be touched by Sacramento politicians. For the students and for California's future, vote yes on 30. Yeah! We all want better schools, so Prop 30 seemed okay. Then I read the ballot pamphlet. The official title and summary says the new tax dollars can be used by politicians to fund other programs in the state budget. Prop 30 makes our sales tax the highest in the nation. A billion dollars more a year for gasoline, clothes, things we buy every day. But not a penny guaranteed to the classroom. It's just another misleading budget gimmick by Sacramento politicians. No on 30. How are Sacramento politicians selling Prop 30, their $50 billion tax increase? There's no in-between. It's either forward, yes on 30, or real suffering by you and really our whole future. So, what are Sacramento politicians wasting your money on now? The scandal at California State Parks continues. A hidden fund scandal. 56 employees took advantage. Will actually cost $200 billion. Way too much money. Hundreds of phrases recently handed out. I don't think it's fair. Yeah, something's going on. Uh, they can't put enough lipstick on this pig to make it look good. The only thing to fear is giving Sacramento politicians more money to waste. Vote no on Proposition 30. Stop the waste. Sacramento politicians want you to believe Prop 36 billion dollar a year tax increase means more money for schools, but it's all smoke and mirrors. The LA Times says the higher taxes aren't really earmarked for schools, and the independent legislative analyst says the money can pay for other budget programs. And the former executive director of the California Board of Education says Prop 30 provides no guarantee of new money for schools. No on Prop 30. We'll never know where the money really goes. 
from the... Here is the late news on the Proposition 30 tax increase. From the Sacramento Bee, the California School Boards Association said they want to make it clear to the public that the governor's initiative does not provide new funding for schools. From the Wall Street Journal, the dirty little secret is new revenues are needed to backfill the insolvent teacher's pension fund. And from the Los Angeles Times, the money to be raised by Proposition 30 would not be earmarked specifically for schools. There you have it. If you thought Prop 30 was for schools, think again. This is John Kupal of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association. Prop 30 is just a $50 billion tax increase so Sacramento politicians can continue their irresponsible spending and send you the bill. Prop 30 is a dirty trick on taxpayers. Vote no on Proposition 30. To learn how to defeat the Prop 30 tax hike, go to HJTA.org. Paid for by No New Taxes, No on 30, a project of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association with major funding by Protect Prop 13. A project of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association and Jerry Parencio. Higher taxes? Seriously? Is that the only thing Sacramento politicians can think of? What about helping my family make it? I mean, the, the cost of groceries is going up. Gas, clothes for the kids. And this Proposition 30 tax hike, it's going to make everything we buy cost more. This is John Kupal of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association. Proposition 30 is just another tax increase that will kill the state economy, drive people and businesses out of California, and make families poorer. In fact, it's a $50 billion shell game that doesn't guarantee any new money for schools. None. Prop 30 is a dirty trick on taxpayers. Vote no on Proposition 30. I tell you, this state is on the wrong track, and I'm worried about my family's future. To learn how to defeat the Prop 30 tax hike, go to HJTA.org. Paid for by No New Taxes, No on 30, a project of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association with major funding by Protect Prop 13, a project of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association and Jerry Parencio. Step right up and get your bottle of Proposition 30. It cures baldness, boils, lumbago. This is John Kupal of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association. Sacramento politicians are out pitching their Prop 30 snake oil. But what Proposition 30 really is, is a massive tax increase they claim is for our schools. But even the California School Boards Association says the initiative provides no new funding for schools. None. These same politicians just gave hundreds of staffers pay raises. They approved the bullet train against the wishes of most Californians. And after Jerry Brown announced the closure of 70 state parks, we discover the Parks Department has been hiding $54 million. Californians already pay the highest state sales tax and the second highest income tax. Proposition 30 is just a dirty trick on taxpayers. Vote no on Proposition 30. To learn how to defeat the Prop 30 tax hike, go to HJTA.org. Paid for by No New Taxes, No One Thirty, a project of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association with major funding by Jerry Parencio. Let's see how two ballot measures measure up. Prop 30 says they send new money to our schools, but fact checkers say that's misleading. Prop 30 sends money in here, but lets the politicians take it out here. That's why Sacramento is behind it. But there's hope. Prop 38 really does send new education dollars straight to our schools. And 38 keeps it there. Don't be misled by the politicians. To really help our schools, vote yes on 38. What does Prop 38 mean? Every California school gets new funding. Prop 38 restores what we've lost. Teachers, small classes, art, music, and science labs. Prop 38 guarantees that money will go to my school and your school. Then every child in California can get a world-class education, and Sacramento can't touch it. What does 38 mean to me? The sky's my limit. For years, Sacramento politicians have chopped away funds for our schools. Today, we're 47th out of 50 in per-pupil funding. Now, these politicians say unless we send more tax dollars to Sacramento, they'll cut education again. Here's a new approach. Prop 38 sends billions in new education dollars straight to our local schools and guarantees the politicians can't touch it. 38 will restore the education cuts from Sacramento. So remember this number, 38. Por años, los políticos en Sacramento han recortado fondos para nuestras escuelas. 
Hoy ocupamos el lugar número 47 en fondos por alumno. Ahora estos políticos dicen que si no les mandamos más dinero, recortarán los fondos una vez más. Pero hay una nueva opción. La Proposición 38 manda miles de millones de dólares directamente a nuestras escuelas y garantiza que los políticos no lo puedan tocar. La 38 devolverá dinero a nuestras escuelas. Recuerda este número. 38. When I see that our schools are 47th in spending per student, I just can't accept that. Our schools shouldn't be 47th in anything. Proposition 38 bypasses Sacramento and makes education a real priority. With the funding to our local schools and the accountability from our local schools that we'll need to improve student learning in every classroom. So we can stay 47th or we can choose Proposition 38. I'm voting yes on 38 because it makes our children number one. Here's the problem. Legislators and lobbyists got a backroom deal. A loophole that gives out-of-state corporations the tax break for moving jobs outside of California. And here's the solution. Prop 39 will close this loophole, keep jobs here, and bring $1 billion dollars back to California from out-of-state corporations. Learn more at yesonprop39.com. Out-of-state corporations make huge profits in California, but an unfair loophole lets them avoid a billion dollars in California taxes. Corporations can move facilities and jobs out of state and get a tax break under the loophole. The more jobs they move, the bigger the break. Prop 39 will close this loophole that hurts our state and bring dollars and jobs back to California. Vote yes on Prop 39.